All right, this is the newly finished rocket stove. Um, I use a 40 pound propane tank, what? six inch stove pipe, 22 gauge, and basically what I've done with this is the same thing I've done with the other ones. I've got the little shelf, and I have this little X grate that I this is what I did with the other ones with inside the paint can. Let's get about 24, uh, 24, 26 I guess, 26 inch chimney pipe. And got about 8 inches. This is like 5 inches right there. So it's really kind of a 8 inch, 8 to 10 inch by the time it gets inside the the wood there gets inside the chimney pipe. Anyways, we're going to be firing it up. I usually start by putting a little bit of, if we can get in there, a little bit of paper and sticking some Kindle like down inside, just little sticks. Last night I had it going, which you'll probably see some of the video from that. I did not have it fully insulated. This is my little insulation port because the stovepipe actually has to be assembled kind of like inside. Like when I put this piece of stovepipe in, I had to put it in as a flat piece of stovepipe, or not flat, but you know, unattached, dropped it down in, and then I attached it while it was inside the stove itself. And we got some angry chickens. And um, the stovepipe, the elbow, came out to about right here. And I slotted all the, the ends. And then I bent them around and put screws down. And I got the miracle Grow perlite there. And oddly enough, it took... Oh, what was it? I had three bags that I stuck in it. And four and a half bags I think just about four and a half bags to fill this thing which is like nine gallons so I'll have it fired up in a second these things don't take any time at all to light up I'm using very dry dry wood boss was getting rid of some propane tanks. This was an empty one. I figured, hey, I can make that into a nice little rocket stove. So in about three evenings time, this is what I got. And it's pretty amazing because last night we had it going and whether or not I had that video in or not, I don't know. But um, this little port right here where I used to fill up the insulation, I did not have enough perlite, so my perlite came to right about this level. And you could look inside when the thing was going because it was at nighttime, and where there is perlite around, it was all red. But up above where there's no perlite, it was just, you know, just steel. So it's amazing how much the insulation helps with retaining the heat from, you know, escaping out into the, the can and stuff. So I'm kind of interested to see how much more efficient, efficient it's going to be today. Plus I also had like an inch and a half or so above the chimney where my pot was sitting. So I lowered that down to like three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to time it to see how long it takes for eight cups of water to boil in a Betty Crocker Walmart tea kettle. All right, 10 minutes, 15 seconds from cold water or just tap water to the actual steam coming out. I'm zooming in on the thing and I don't want to, there we go. So it actually was probably hot enough to make a good tea or a hot chocolate at about seven minutes. We found that, you know, normally when we're using the tea kettle or whatnot, it, the water is plenty hot enough 
and is boiling, just not like this at around, you know, seven minutes. So anyways, 10 minutes, 15 seconds from cold water to good solid boiling. And I put probably the equivalent to uh, all together maybe that much wood, which is like, you know, maybe 16 inches of a 2x4, something like that, maybe. Probably closer to like a foot of a 2x4. So there we have it. The new rocket stove. And our kids wanting to get anxious and naughty over here. Yeah, something I forgot to mention is that I also designed this with the idea that I wanted to be able to continue the chimney coming up if I wanted to. So you could use this as a tent stove. But whereas you got the insulation in the in the actual stove itself, um, keep hitting the zoom or something. So the stove only puts off. I mean, it's too hot to touch up here, but you can touch it down. In fact, it's it's still just cold down there. But as further you go up, the hotter it is. Um, I don't know if that's so much that it's radiating out from the chimney or if it's up here where there isn't any insulation and it's a metal to metal contact where it just by um, conduct it, it travels down. So anyways, but what I did want to do is have the ability to use this for a, hint, a, a uh, stove in the tent and I figured what you could do is this ring right here can pull up with the little cross grate and as you can see there you are right there. Um, you can take a regular six inch stove pipe and stick it down on top and the the stove pipe would act as your actually you know the radiator for the stove. Um, I thought about putting like small little paddles in the stove pipe so there would be a special maybe two foot two foot stove pipe that you could stick on and then run another stove pipe up through your tent so that that the little paddles would act as you know the the air would have to the hot air would have to go around those paddles and the paddles would get hot sending the heat out through the stove pipe so um, I don't know anyways it's just an idea that I was thinking of that could be used for 110 or whatever you know multi-purpose rocket stove the only problem I see with this thing being used as a tent heater is the feed tube down here is just not very big and be you know constant <laughs> constant feed is like somebody have to stay up all night but there again you could get the thing hot and probably stay hot for quite a while enough to keep your tent heated for a while anyways so and that'd be another thing by having extra metal in a stove pipe up here you know that would also retain heat as well and also act as kind of a re retardant for cold air coming down the chimney. I don't know. Anyways. And this one right here, that can pull out. So you have the ability to put a longer piece on for you know, longer pieces of wood. But you're still going to have to shove them in. Anyways, I think that's it. Rocket stove number four. Four, yeah.